Welcome to Focus. Today we're going to be looking at boot design and function with Dr. Kelly Lockwood. Let's see what's going on. So Kelly, today was the last on-ice session with uh, the, your most recent study with Graph Canada. Can you tell me a little bit about that study? Sure, Ken. The study that we're doing with Graph Canada is an industrial uh, collaboration. So we're looking at boot design and function. And the reason we're here on the ice is anything we do in the lab has to transfer to the real, the real game or the uh, real environment, which is the ice. So we put together a battery of tests that the athletes have to perform that mimic gameplay. So linear speed, acceleration, uh, agility, backward skating, forward skating, everything that you would see in the game, we want to be able to quantify it and quantify the con contribution of the boot to that performance. Can you tell me a little bit about the partners that you're working on the study with? Sure. Uh, Claude Lemieux is the new chairman of the board for Graph Canada. He took over that position in June, and it's just been a pleasure to work with someone that actually knows something about boot design. Um, so he's been instrumental in um, coming up with new designs and, and uh, um, implements, devices to work with. We've then partnered with Troy Croder, who's also an NHL player, and he's the mastermind behind a lace extender. And the lace extender just allows the boot to um, increase forward, forward flexion. What we know from the 3D biomechanics of skating is that if you can bend, if you can get down into your ankles and knees, you can elongate the stride, get more power per push, and be a lot stronger skater. But the current boot design inhibits flexion. So the kids do their boots right up to the top, and then they can't bend their knees. So often, they don't do their boots right up to the top, and then they lose a lot of that force from the push because of the lateral instability. So what I've got in my hands here is a, a lace extender. It attaches to the boot, so it can go on any brand of boot, right? It some here too. You certainly do. All right. So it, um, by hooking onto the side of the boot, it gives them lateral stability, but by lacing up an inch or so in front of the boot, it enhances flexion. So you get a good five to 10 degrees of, of increased forward knee bend. Okay, and uh, so what, kind of, what type of players would look to use this device and what levels? We've included all levels. Um, skating is fundamental to the game. Everyone needs to learn how to skate. And if the equipment is not allowing them to learn how to skate pro properly, we've got a problem. So the youngest athletes in this study are eight. So the developmental athletes, we've got um, competitive, so AAA kids right through the minor hockey league. We've got semi-pros, we've got pros, we've got alumni. And we've also got active for life for the beer league because those are the players that if they're still comfortable in their skates, they'll continue to play forever. And don't forget all-stars like myself. That's right, that's right. Thanks so much for your, for your participation, Mike. All right, I'm here with Matt Burns. Uh, master student with Kelly Lockwood. Can you tell me a little bit about what kind of research you're doing with Kelly? Yeah, sure. So um, the research we're doing right now is looking at skate design and specifically forward flexion. So whether allowing yourself to get that more uh, further forward flexion, that further knee bend will in increase performance or improve on ice performance. Also a little bit of uh, feedback from the players, so whether they like those kinds of things, what they don't like about it, uh, and stuff like that. So my own personal work will be looking at skate design as well, just like this study is. So how's it been working with Graph Canada? Oh, it's been really, really cool. I mean, um, getting to try out their, their new skate has been awesome, and uh, a lot of cool experiences like this, getting to work with a lot of different people, and uh, it's, it's been a really great experience all around. Um, I mean, it's pretty cool to be a part of something that, that could really influence the whole field of, of hockey and, and skate design in general. Can you share some of the feedback that you've got, uh, immediate feedback from participants? Yeah. Um, for the most part, I mean, people uh, like the skates. They like having that interaction, so that, that interaction with uh, with Graf and with with people like that, so they can you know tell them specifically what they want or what they like, what to skate, what they don't like. Uh, for the most part, people really like the comfort and the fit of the Graf as compared to a lot of other skates. Um, there's still some things that need to be worked out, but that's all part of the process and things we're working toward to to make it even better. That's all the time we have to be in focus. If you're interested in more research and events in the Faculty of Science, you know where to find us.